All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday and Happy New Year to you. So this is the first Fake Card Friday of 2016, people. So I guess one out of 52 <laughs> and plenty more to come. So today we are looking at another Exceed Pendulum Monster. You don't see a lot of these, you know, besides, uh, you know, uh, Odd Eyes Rebellion. There's, there's not a lot. So uh, this is Galaxy Eyes Binary Dragon. And uh, if you're wondering, Galaxy Eyes, hmm, who I know on the channel who loves Galaxy Eyes? Who who sent you this card, Daniel? Who sent you to, to do this fake card? Oh, yeah, obviously Chago. <laughs> anyway, uh, Galaxy Eyes Binary Dragon is rank 8, light, scale 2. Dragon XC Pendulum Effect Monster with 3,000 attack, 0 defense. So, uh, I mean, I guess we can just go over its Pendulum Effect and then look at its Monster Effect as well. And then we'll try to uh, piece all of it together. Alright, so Pendulum Effect. Once per turn, you can change this card's Pendulum Scale to 2 or 10. But you can only Pendulum Summon Dragon-type monster. So, uh, pretty much, besides the whole Dragon Restrictions, this going up to 10, it's just, that's a really high scale. It's a really... Uh, scale on two, two is pretty low as well. You know, there might be some uh, level three dragons that you want to put out, but you know, ten generally. Uh, you know, the big dragons that you want to summon, like blue eyes and stuff, they're eight, and you know, it's really hard to get a uh, pendulum scale higher than eight. I don't think there's really is a pendulum scale higher than eight that's just uh, generic or uh, uh, that would be able to help summon these dragons like blue eyes who are level eight. So, uh, you know, this being a uh, able to go up to a pendulum scale 10 and you've been able to pendulum some of those dragons that uh that new fell grand and the blue eyes and um all that it seems like it would be pretty good so pendulum effects not bad not bad but uh you're probably wondering well you know how, how are you supposed to get in the pendulum though obviously it's in the extra deck set so you know how are you gonna get in the pendulum though? you gotta look at the monster effect when you look at the monster effect you'll figure it out all right so um of course it's an xc made with two level 8 monsters generic. It doesn't even have to be two level 8 dragons, just two level 8. So whatever level 8 you got, go ahead and make this card. Uh, the effect reads, you can pendulum summon level you can pendulum summon level 8 monsters. You, if you can pendulum summon level 8 monsters, you can pendulum summon this card, uh, this face up card in your extra deck. If you do, attach all the cards in your pendulum zone to this card. Okay. So I mean, it, it's a, it's kind of a complicated, kind of interesting, but yeah, it seems really legit. So, obviously, uh, you know, as you can see, it's going to die, but it's a pendulum monster, so it's going to uh, go back to the extra deck. But, you know, pendulum zones, they say, like, hey, you can only uh, pendulum summon uh, levels, you know, if your level is in between you. It says nothing about ranks. So, I made it on to make sure that you can pendulum summon it as a level 8 monster. And then what you do, you're not just going to be naked with no XC material, you go ahead and take your pendulum zones, your pendulum scales, and then make those your XC material. So that's actually pretty interesting, that's pretty interesting. Uh, next effect, once per turn, you can attach one XC material from this card. This card becomes unaffected by your opponent's card effects until the end of your opponent's next turn. Yeah, that that's very powerful. That's very powerful. As we know, you know, cards like Dora and Felgrand that are just like, hey, detach and make myself unaffected. Uh, they're pretty good, and of course they're 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 uh, spell speed too. So um, they're being able to be able to play during the player's turn. This isn't spell speed two. This is only spell speed one, but it's encompassing till the end of your turn and till the end of your opponent's turn. So you know, unlike uh, Felgrand and Dora, where you just summon it and you attack, they do a mirror force, you detach them, and then there's one Xenia material, and then during your opponent's turn, they do something, you detach, and there's two Xenia materials. This is all-encompassing for pretty much two turns, both yours and your opponent's, for one Xenia material. So you pretty much summon this, detach the Xenia material, alright, I'm unaffected until the end of your next turn, so, you know, whether it be, um, you know, your rippling mirror force, or, you know, whatever, I don't care. For my turn, and then whatever you do during your turn, whether it be your Gaski or Castell or whatever, I don't care. Still unaffected till the end of my opponent's next turn. So that's a very powerful effect. Very powerful effect. Like I said, <coughs> oh, excuse me. My my biggest problem with this card is that it's only spell speed. That with that effect is that it's only spell speed one. So uh, there's no there's no chaining like Dora Felgrand. So pretty much if your opponent goes like you know fiendish chain, you can't be like all right chain make myself unaffected. No, you're only spell speed one. You can't chain into anything. You know, and so you know hopefully you can go ahead and summon this and get the effect off. Because if you summon this and you go all right, I'm gonna use my effect detach response and your opponent goes fiendish chain. Chain resolves backwards. Your fiendish chain. Your effect is negated and you are now affected by things. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, uh, but this card isn't done. This card isn't done. So if this card has no XC materials, 
You can destroy this card, and remember, when you do this, and you show this card, it will go back to the extra deck. You can then target one dragon-type pendulum monster in your deck or graveyard. Wow, well, so it's just pretty much saying, like, hey, get that, get that, uh, get that luster, get that luster, because you already know <laughs> that he's just so good, you know, get, get your, uh, your Draco Slayers. <laughs> uh, target one dragon-type uh, pendulum monster in your deck or graveyard, and add it to your hand. So, there you go, so, uh, you kind of just kill yourself, uh, you just kill him when he has no extra materials, which, at that point, he would just be a 3,000 beater, he would go back to extra deck, you get, uh, something in exchange for killing him, you get a dragon type pendulum monster from your deck creator, hopefully set up your scales, and, uh, hopefully go ahead and, if you can, pendulum summon a bat. But, uh, the last effect is, if this card, uh, in the monster zone is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can place this card in your pendulum zone. Wow, so just the icing on the cake, just to make sure. So, of course, uh, he will be destroying himself. You go ahead and get the search, and if this card was destroyed by Battle of Card Effect, his own card effect, you go ahead and just put him in the Pendulum Zone, and then he'll get his Pendulum Effect to make the scale 10, and then, like, pretty much, if you can, if this card is ever real, and you can bust out level 8s like that, and go into rank 8s like that, run two of this, because one will go into your Pendulum Scale instead of for your... Uh, level 10 so you can pendulum summon this guy back so pretty much he would pretty much just be kind of looping himself he just kind of just those two would just be kind of going at it so uh that's this is a very powerful card very unique and very uh very uh intricate when it comes to uh how it's made you know it doesn't seem like um any uh, stones weren't unturned when it came to creating this card and making sure that uh the plays were pulled off just right so i definitely have to applaud the creator here uh, I mean, I don't want to assume that it's Tago because he sent it to me. Uh, the creator is Divine Dragon Knight. I'm not sure if that's Tago, but you know, he has pictures of Felgrand, so obviously uh, the person loves him some uh, some uh, rank eight. So uh, yeah, not bad, but uh, pretty good, pretty good, I must say. Uh, generally, we try to look at some broken cards here on uh, on Play Card Friday, but it's nice to go ahead and look at actually a legit card. So. Uh, you know, this card definitely seems like it was really, it would definitely put in some work, of course, you know, with this whole pendulum effect, you can only pendulum some dragon type monsters, it might kind of hinge on your deck, seems like you, uh, would definitely want to play it in a deck that runs, you know, some dragons to bust out, whether it be a blue eyes deck, or, uh, whether it be a galaxy eyes deck, you know, just, you know, level 8 dragon type monsters, though, would definitely, uh, enjoy this, and, uh, like I said, you can go ahead and, uh, double it up the scales, you know, uh, if you have two binary dragons, uh, one could be the scale 2, one could be the scale 10, Pendulum summon, uh, <laughs> back the third, and when he's summoned, he'll test the other two at 60 materials, you know, so, uh, then when that one dies, you go ahead and target a dragon type Pendulum monster in your, uh, or your deck or graveyard and add back to your hand, so you can target yourself, and while you may not add back to the hand, it would just go back to the extra deck, and then rinse and repeat, so, uh, it seems like this card can definitely be really good if it was real. So, uh, not a really broken one this week, but still a really good one as well. So, uh, thank you, Tiago, for sending me this card. It's, it's it's really interesting. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this Fake Card Friday. Like I said, plenty more to go. 51 more to go for 2016, people. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Uh, I hope to have a great 2016. I hope the channel grows. I hope that we do a lot of cool things and just continue playing this game of Yu-Gi-Oh! that we have a little love-hate relationship with. But in the end, we still just keep coming back. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.